Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. Good work. Those two suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room where you will have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You will look prepared for the next thing. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Activated. Nice job. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic! 
Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. You can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Power. Remember your 16%. flashlight drains power, so switch it off power. when you don't need it. 75%. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Catch your you will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running your power, step up to any charger and press it. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with a luminous icon. Warning. Hazardous radiation levels detected. Please advance to the next area. security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Sure, I'll follow you.
Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Okay, I will wait here. Access denied. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high speed workers will be next in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with the background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment team. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in the A 
reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. That's odd. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? My hey, god, stop what that. are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? I can't be bothered right now. Didn't you just ask me that? Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. Big day today, Freeman. The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. It's good to see you. My God, what are you doing? Have you been able to get the beverage machine to work yet? You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. 
Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Hello. I You'll hope just I'll have to wait until, until after nominal. the test. I wonder if I should run that test again. My God, what are you doing? Greetings. Now, where did I... Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Yes, this all looks numb. Someone has hidden my glasses again. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous power barriers, conditions, high impact reactive armor. System activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface. Ah, sure. Good to see you. Like you're in the barrel. Today. A very safe day. As I expected. later. Greetings. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. It's about to go critical. 
standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Ready for it, and it should be coming up to you any moment. 